So today, what I'm excited to talk about is some of the upcoming features of Nomad 012. This includes advanced scheduling capability, enhanced networking, an expanded ecosystem, and improvements to how Federation works. So let's dive into each of those. The first one is how advanced scheduling has improved. So when we talk about the traditional approach to scheduling, it's one of bin packing. So we might have multiple nodes that exist. And what we're going to try and do is basically fill each node up as much as possible before putting any additional workload onto the other nodes. And the advantage here is, let's say I have 100 nodes, but I can fit all of my workload onto 60. Those are 40 machines that I could shut down and save on cost. I effectively have those machines that are idle, and so I don't need them. Right? So this is the advantage. Even if it's fixed capacity, those 40 machines can step into a low energy mode and consume less power relative to the ones that are more fully loaded. What we're now adding support for is spread-based ranking as well. So not just having the support to bin pack, but the goal with spread is instead of going to the most loaded machine, we move workloads to the least loaded machine. And so at this effect, we basically are spreading the workload across as many machines as possible. The advantage here is if we have a fixed pool of capacity, we avoid having a quality of service issue by really filling up a handful of nodes and the rest being idle. With this, all of our nodes can be productive, and we have some set of our workload that exists on all of the nodes. The next major improvement is we're moving preemption out of our enterprise offering and into open source. Now, the neat thing with preemption is it kind of frees us up from worrying about filling up our cluster from low priority jobs. So we might have a class of workload that we need to be running at all times, our web server, our API, or database. But then we might have background jobs that are doing data transformation or background batch processing, things like that, that when we have idle capacity, we want the cluster to work on. And so with Nomad and using priorities, we can submit all of this work. And when the cluster is idle or has spare capacity, it'll fill in this low priority work. Now, the challenge can be is what if your cluster is full and now you need to do a scale up of your web server or some new high priority service, but the cluster is now filled. What preemption allows Nomad to do is basically eject the low priority work and make sure that there's enough capacity so that the high priority work can run on top of the cluster. Right? So this frees you up from necessarily having to worry about overwhelming the cluster and manually dealing with what jobs should be running. You can simply submit everything to Nomad, use a relative set of priorities, and let the cluster figure it out. The next one is enhancement of the networking. So in the last release, we brought the CSI, which brought the container storage interface. With this release, we're bringing CNI, which is the container networking interface. And so this allows a rich ecosystem of existing plugins, such as Calico, Cilium, Weave, to all be used with Nomad transparently. Any of these providers that integrate with the CNI provider can now be used and leveraged from within Nomad as well. The other piece that we're doing to networking as well is expanding it to support multi-host networking. So if you have certain scenarios where you might have a task or a task group that needs to operate on multiple networks simultaneously, for example, maybe a private network and a public network or two different management networks, things like that, you can now specify your tasks in such a way that they can exist in both of these networks. We're also promoting the autoscaler out of beta and into tech preview. So we're excited about all the improvements that are make, being made here, tons of community excitement and contribution that's been taking place to this. So keep your eyes peeled for the improvements coming there. The next one that's been an uh, a great upgrade has been the improvements to Federation. So Nomad, ever since 0.1 release, has had a support for multiple data centers and multiple regions and a federation between all of them. So Nomad has had this notion of multiple re regions and the ability to direct workloads to them. But what we haven't had the ability to do was define a single job that simultaneously exists in multiple regions. You'd have to define a job that lived in one region at a time, and you could, of course, submit a job to any region, and it would be forwarded appropriately. Now you can define a single job that will actually span multiple regions. So this makes it much easier if you're a user who's trying to deploy to a global deployment to simply roll out across multiple data centers and multiple regions around the world. All of these features that we announced are available in Nomad 0.12, and the beta of that is available today.